Hang on a minute. My name's Maury Fields. This is me dog. Name's Royce. Because he rolls in me. You know, I've been living in Victoria for a long time now, and I grew up on a rabbit, I mean a sheep farm in the Mallee. I can still remember the rabbit plagues of the 40s when Dad and I and all the neighbours from miles around would get together and go rabbiting. You know, the problem was you had to get them all. Every last one of them. You went out on your own and tried to wipe them out, everyone would laugh at you. I mean, there were plenty to go round, so everyone helped each other. It's the only way. When Mexo was finally released, most of the rabbits stopped it. We could finally forget about it. I spent me Saturdays playing footy. Had more time to chase different sorts of bunnies. <laughs> you get what I mean? I never thought I'd see another blasted rabbit again. So here I am in central Victoria. All I can see are thousands of the mongrels. The buggers are breeding like, like rabbits. Current methods of control can give 99% success if they're done properly. You don't kill at least 95%, you've wasted your time. The ones that get away that count and cause next year's damage. So you've only got one choice. Use 1080 properly. Aim to poison all of the rabbits and safeguard your investment by attacking any survivors. By fumigating, ripping, shooting, trapping, destroying all their harbour. Now the Department of Conservation, Forests and Lands have told me all about this poisoning caper. Now 1080 is the best poison we've ever had to kill rabbits with. It's a lethal poison, so take the particular safety precautions when you use it. Your neighbours have got to be told and your 1080 signs have got to be on show. First of all, you've got to remove all your stock from the poisoning paddy. Leave them out for six weeks after you finish baiting. Bait in the late summer and early autumn because the rabbits are hungry and they're all old enough to move around and feed. Of course, you can't expect a 95% kill by using a sewing machine. You need to use the right gear. 1080 is available from CFNL mixed into the carrots after the carrot cutter chops the carrots to bite-sized bits. Rabbits are fussy, like me. So buy carrots that are good enough for your own tucker. But it's no good having gourmet carrots if you don't put enough of it in the right place. Remember, you want to feed all the rabbits. Stand back and have a look at your paddock before you bait. Going out at night with a spotlight beforehand gives you an idea of the feeding area. It tells you how many rabbits are coming down for tea and where to set the table. They reckon for every rabbit you see, there's ten more underground. You want the trail to cover the feeding areas and to cross and recross the area between the burrows and their feeding ground. All you have to do now is lay the trail. The biggest mistake people make when they're baiting is not laying enough trail through all the possible rabbit's feeding ground. The trail is usually made from a single disc plough attached to the bait layer. Create a spoon-shaped furrow around about five inches wide by four inches deep. Free feeding, laying out unpoisoned bait is the trick to a total kill. By feeding the rabbits for the whole week before poisoning, you'll let the rabbits get used to the idea. Get a taste for it. Gives you a chance to see if you've got enough of the stuff in the right place. Check the trails on the first night and see what bait's been eaten. If it's all gone, you haven't got enough out. 
So then you'll need to throw some more so all the bunnies are eating all the bait for the whole week before the poison. You can vary the amount of bait that comes out of the bait layer so you can lighten off in well covered areas and put more in the feeding areas. In all, you're looking at a 10 to 12 day operation. On Tuesday night, you've got your first free feed. Friday night, lay out your second free feed. The rabbit's free feed, I mean. Then poison the next Tuesday evening and leave it for four days. On the last day, the remaining bait should be either picked up or covered with about four inches of dirt. All the carcasses have to be picked up daily for the four days the poison's out, to avoid secondary poisoning. Then they should be buried or burnt. You know, dogs are the most susceptible animal to carcasses left lying around. Royce? Royce? Royce, where are you? Here, boy. Just in case you've forgotten all those details, I'll run through them again. Right, here goes. Gourmet carrots. Safety. Shift stock, tell your neighbours. Stick up 1080 signs. Autumn poisonous. Spotlight for feeding areas. Free feed twice before poisoning and make sure you feed them all. Poison with heaps of trail and heaps of bait. Pick up, cover up. OK, but it doesn't end there. What you do next is the follow-up works. Just as important as the poisoning. By using dogs, you can drive the rabbits to ground and fumigate them. Once that's done, the rabbit burrows are destroyed by ripping and cross-ripping and rechecking the deeper leaf. You know, I mentioned at the start how we used to work in groups to get rid of rabbits back when I was a kid. A kid. Today they're starting to do the same old thing, only the chances of success are so much greater. If you work in neighbourhood groups and slot rabbit control into your annual farm works, you can get rid of them. Let's just think for a minute. Say if this bloke's farm had around 2,000 rabbits, that works out to be the same as about 200 sheep. Nowadays, the wool off an old weather's worth about, or oh, 20 bucks. That's about $4,000 this bloke's missing out on every year because of rabbits. So a bit of moolah spent now can pay you back pretty well in the future. They'd have cover on the ground all year round, birds would be back, and best of all, no flaming rabbits. If you've got any questions, drop into your local conservation, forest and lands office. Have a yap to them. They'll help you start up land care projects and give you all the help you need to get your rabbit campaign going. With hire of equipment, call them. And if you're still stuck, have a look at the video on the follow-up techniques to poison. Anyway. I'm off to a rabbit control field day now with a CF and L. Might see you there, eh? Here, right?